If you are building your BMW M3 and you get to that point that says carbon bucket seats and you are sick and tired of being in between and reading everybody's comments on the forums, this video is for you. I'm gonna try to explain specifically what the issues are and the comfort pain points. So hopefully this video helps you guys. This is a $4,500 option from this 2023 BMW M3. It's probably gonna go up after this. First things first, the adjustability. These seats are still adjustable, so don't think that they are gonna be as inconvenient as say another racing seat that you might be used to. If you guys are used to another racing seat that's aftermarket, these will undoubtedly be more comfortable than that. So if that is what you're used to, get them. There's no reason you should not get these. These are adjustable. You could go forward and backwards. The back still moves forwards and backwards. You can even move the bottom seat to go down or up depending on your preference. There is one more button here. I'm gonna call this the love handle button. I am 5'11 and about 185 pounds. And already my love handles are a little squished. So this button you can push and you can either have your love handles cramped or really cramped. It's pretty nice when you're on a racetrack, but when you're driving around during the day or downtown, I would like a little bit more love handle room if you know what I mean. Personally, my complaint on long road trips is actually the sides of my thighs. I understand there's some guys that can sit completely straight, but I have to have my legs out a little bit. I gotta spread them out a little bit. And the sides of these seats just don't allow me to stretch my legs as wide as I'd like. This is a six speed manual transmission, so my feet are always dancing around. And personally, on the outside of my thighs, I would like just a little bit more room. Is it a deal breaker? For some people, maybe on a long road trip, this is gonna absolutely suck. I've gone maybe 200 miles one time and I did need to take some breaks. There's also a really cool, but in my opinion, pointless carbon fiber piece in the center of you. Thankfully with this, you could tell all your friends you have a carbon fiber ball sack holder. Another feature that I'm kind of disappointed that BMW didn't offer in these seats for $4,500 is the cooling. If my back was cool, my butt was cool in the middle of summer, that would be enjoyable. Thankfully, these seats are heated still, so even if you're old and you have lower back pain, like I do, it is still soothing. They always say getting in and out of it, it's hard, but once you're in it, it's comfy. Is that true? Kind of, yeah, but when you're driving around for about 150 miles, you are gonna occasionally regret your decision. There's a lot of people in the comments, oh man, I can drive all day and I've never had an issue. I've got 6,000 miles that I've done, never had a problem. You're probably in good shape. I am 185 pounds. I do got a little bit of love handle on me. I'm in pretty good shape, so getting in and out is not an issue. I'm 5'11", but there are a lot of people out there that want this because it looks cool and just simply cannot have these because it is very inconvenient and it is very uncomfortable. I would say, if I was over 200 pounds, no. The carbon bucket seats are not for you. Another side note is that the side pieces, you'll probably see in the forums as well, do get worn. Now, I wash mine once a week so I don't have any stains from my jeans because this is white leather. It's the last thing you want is a little bit of blue on it. So I do clean these once a week. I have seen some people make these leather colored match pieces that go over the sides so that way you can avoid that wear and tear. Not a bad idea when these are $4,500. During COVID, I saw people listing these for ten dollars to $20,000. That is insane. So my final thought, if you guys are in shape for the most part and you are okay with being mildly inconvenienced and you wanna look really cool, then get them. It's like another $30 a month. What's it gonna matter, right? If you are truly going to daily drive this thing, you might wanna reconsider, especially if you're getting in and out all the time. Hopefully this video helps you guys in the buying process of your BMW. Good luck, I know you're gonna love it. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging on till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact Give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back I'm sick of being cautious I'ma go cause something, can't stop this I'ma steal everybody's lane, call it shoplift Sick of hearing everyone complain when they thoughtless Taste the pain, it's like candy canes It makes me go change into a better frame Into a better name, society's insane We all live for fame, yeah